Well, put what away? It's away! No! <laughs> I'm ready to let me be. Oh, my foot! What's your fault? Hey. hey. Hello, sir. Uh, what's up, bro? I'm Deputy Paddock. This is Deputy Perkins. We're school resource officers. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, you know why we're here, obviously. The school called you. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to talk with you a little bit first, and then we'll go with the kids. Right. Basically, we're out here for a couple reasons. One, verify whether it was a real gun, toy gun, what have you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Safety concern there, obviously. Right. Um, two, just kind of impress upon the kids the seriousness of something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me before we... No. Uh, okay. I've got their side of the story, and um, I've already talked to them about the seriousness of what they did, what's mm -hmm. going on. I've also talked to them about what's going on in our society right now, especially them being young African-American males. They're 12, but they don't look 12. Sure. And what they did, you know, you guys don't have a way to differentiate between, at the time, whether something was real gun, fake. toy gun, absolutely. So they're here by themselves. I'm rushing home from work. Sure. You know, you guys could kick, I don't know what your procedure is, but, you know, there's been some, something, it could have been worse. Yeah. Something could have happened, so. Uh, so, one thing I want to assure you of is, hopefully nothing like this occurs mm -hmm. again, but if it does, we don't come talk to the kids unless the parents are here, unless there's an immediate threat, like if they were holding it to their head, or, you know what I mean, something like that. That's a little bit different, then it's more making sure they're safe. Sure. Um, if it's something like what it was, we make sure that the parents are home. We don't, we're not going to come talk to the kids, you know, unless, like I said, there's an immediate safety concern. Okay. And even then it would be more just to ensure the safety. And then we would ensure we get parents there before we go further with questioning things like that. Okay. Um, that's, that's how we operate. Okay. Um, so hopefully that kind of puts you at ease a little bit with that side of it. Okay. Um, so, I, young man, okay. Your parents, bud. She's at work. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm only have permission to talk with you and ask you questions. Understand? I don't care if you sit there and listen to the conversation so you know what's going to be coming when I do meet with your mom and you. Okay. Do you have an issue to him about the situation? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Deputy Paddock. Okay, this is Deputy Perkins. We're school resource officers for the district. Just obviously, okay. Grand Mountain is kind of my school. It's, I'm yeah, sorry, man. Can I call my wife? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. School resource here. I got you on speakerphone. Hi, ma'am. I'm Deputy Paddock, and I have Deputy Perkins with me. We're school Hello. resource officers for the district. Okay. Like I explained to your husband, mm -hmm. we're here primarily to ensure everything is safe, um, and you know, establish whether it was a real gun, toy gun, what have you. Okay, and then just kind of talk to the boys about the seriousness of something like that when it comes to school and you know the online realm and stuff like that not being able to distinguish if it's a toy at the time things of that nature okay now does this affect his record in any way or anything it, like that so from a criminal aspect no no one's going to receive charges on this um, it'll be documented as an informational report um, just because since he's being suspended from school for the incident um, but he's not going to receive any type of criminal charges or, you know, it's not something that we're 
go on his record or anything like that from a criminal standpoint. Okay, and then is, I'm assuming the school was made aware that it was a toy gun. Sure, you guys saw the green and orange. We haven't we haven't even got to that point yet. Your your husband wanted to give you a call before we got too far into questions or anything like that. Okay, so once you guys do see that it was just a toy, then you guys I'm assuming will notify the principal. Oh yes, the the school will be made aware of everything that we discuss here and you know what what the toy gun was and, and that type of thing. Okay. Do you have any questions before? I... Um, no, just uh, I would like my husband to be present the whole time. Oh, absolutely. And right I'll, I'll explain to you just like I explained to your husband. I understand the concerns, um, absolutely, especially in today's world. Um, but immediate safety concern from our standpoint. But we would have absolutely made sure that one of you was here before we ever even tried to talk to the kids. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's, let's give them um, I can't think of anything else at this time. Uh, am I able to stay on speaker? Or absolutely. To yeah, absolutely. I have no problem with that at all. Okay. And just so you guys are aware as well, we record every all of our interactions on our body cameras so if something would ever arise where you felt that you wanted to you know request the body camera footage or stuff like that that's always there so okay okay All right, thank you. yes ma'am um you understand what you did and why we're here correct mm -hmm. right. but so where's this toy gun at uh, i have it somewhere. you have it okay um, so once we're done talking, I'll have you show that to us so we can verify what it is and go okay. from there, okay? Um, you understand how difficult it is to distinguish between a toy gun and a real gun, especially on a small video, or not video, but an internet screen, okay? So you understand where the concern came from? Okay. So here's the deal, but I'm going to tell you a couple things. One... Had that been in a school setting, okay, you would be getting criminally charged because that's interference with the educational institution, okay? Technically, we could probably still push that right now, okay? I'm not going to today. I want more to educate you on the seriousness of this so you don't get in trouble in the future. You know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? your friend we're here together and you guys were on your computers okay were you guys in the same class no. okay so you guys were just hanging out together okay fair enough um they had previous classes together okay fair enough so the administrative part of it from the school obviously they're going to discuss with mom and dad what's going to happen there okay from our side of it, we're here from a law enforcement standpoint. We want to make sure, A, that you're safe. B, that you understand not to do this again because you could get charges. Okay, and I don't want... You're a young man, dude. I don't want to see you get in trouble. You know what I mean? I'm, I love being a school resource officer because I love working with the kids. I want to see you guys grow up and become something great. I don't want to see you guys do something silly and get in trouble and have it mess things up in the future. You know what I mean? Oh, all of that being said, do you have any questions for me about this incident? Okay, you understand what I said to dad when I, and mom when I said it's going to be documented in an informational report? Okay, so basically what that means is I'm going to document my conversation with the school. I'm going to document my conversation with you, okay? And it all be in a report. As it's verified. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good, How good. You, so that's where we're going to go with that. Okay. Like I said, man, I don't want to see you get in trouble for something silly. You know what I mean? And doing something silly like that, you, you got to think about 
I like to use the phrase with my kids, when, what's important now? When you're on your computer doing schoolwork, what's important at that point? School. The schoolwork, right? Paying attention, not goofing around, making sure you're doing what you're supposed to, right? Okay. When you're playing with your friends and it's not school time, that's what's important. Okay, when you're playing, you know, hanging out with family, that's what's important. You got to focus on the task at hand. You understand? Okay. The school told me that you you like to goof around a lot and that you're kind of, you know, you and your friends kind of goof around and stuff like that, right? There's nothing wrong with that, man. That's great. It's good to build relationships where you're comfortable with people like that. Okay. But you can't let that carry over into the educational setting. Okay. Because that can get you in a lot of trouble. You understand? Okay. Like I said, technically, we could push the interference with the educational institution. Okay. You're a young man. How old are you? 13? 12. 12? Okay. I don't want to see you get a criminal charge for something silly. You know what I mean? So that's why we're going to document it as an informational report. Okay, I'm not going to charge you. I'm not giving you a summons, a court date, nothing like that. But I want you to understand if it happens again, I won't have that leeway to do that. Okay? Yeah, well, I believe you. So, do you have anything yeah, to say? Yeah, so do you guys do you understand what he means by interference? Remember, when the teacher is teaching, she's not only teaching you, right? She's teaching other kids as well. So when something comes up that is distraction, that's keeping her from teaching other kids, trying to get them caught, something happens, she's got to stop and do what she's doing. Now her mind isn't there, so that's what we mean by interference. Does that make sense? Now you understand what interference, school, staff, and staff will teach. And anyone that works at the school, if you interfere with their daily stuff that's going on to, to instruct and teach kids, it becomes an interference issue. Alright, so before we leave that, I'll for the report. Okay. Um, is it, this a school report or a sheriff's report? It's an informational report in the sheriff's system, but it's just an informational report. So it's not like it's going to the courts or anything like that. It's just for documentation. Um, and the school gets a copy of that as well. Okay. okay. So two separate training. Two, two separate so, things. Okay. Any other questions for me, sir? Can I just throw something in? So, since we, he, he did a great job of explaining it. He cares, and I care. So, I'm asking you, well, how do you feel about how things went down? Uh, I mean, we're here, right? I mean, it's, it's serious. So, how, how do you feel? Scared, sort of. A little scared, right? Absolutely. I'm scared, too. I'm scared for you, man, because, you know, we don't want, we want you to succeed. I think you're a good kid. I had fun in school too. Oh, I went to Janetville, what King Elementary, and I went to Whitefield. So I know the area. Things happen. But don't let this define who you are, okay? You just keep moving forward, bro. Just keep moving forward. And you can help other people that do stuff like that and say, hey, look, man, time out. I'm trying to help you. Don't go where I went, okay? Help other people. That's going to make you a better person. And before we leave today, I. Okay, so him and mom have it, and if he's okay with it, you're welcome to use that anytime you need something too. Okay, I have no problem with you guys reaching out to me. I'd rather you reach out to me if you have a question or just need to talk or whatever, than for something silly to happen and us have to come talk in a more formal setting. Absolutely. Understand? Okay, we'll take our time out to talk to you before something goes silly. Are you scared the hell out of me? You, this is serious business to have two officers in here right now. It could have went a whole lot different. And you know, we teach you all the time. We, we show you the news. You know what's going on right now. Yeah, you're a kid, but you, you got to get yourself together, son. Ma'am, do you have any questions for us? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any concerns about how this went? Okay. Okay, understand. 
Um, like I said, I'm going to leave my business card with your husband, so you guys are welcome to reach out to me anytime, okay? Um, and, and that's for anything. If you guys have questions, concerns, you know, whether it's about this or anything else, okay? Um, I'm one of the school resource officers for the di district, so is Deputy Perkins, and we try to make ourselves available to all of our students and families as much as possible, so. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Did you have any questions, sir? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So um, before we leave real quick, I'll just look at the toy gun, um, and then we'll get yours and Isaac. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. You mind if I come in here, sir? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Fair enough, man. Um, yeah. I mean, kids are kids. They're going to do silly things. Yeah. You know? but, so, yeah. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been. And I, I understand your guys' concerns. Yeah. Uh, I just hope you understand we don't operate that way. You know what I mean? Well, I truly do care about the kids. And, no, I understand so. that, but my thing is, the school, I don't, I don't know, I guess I just don't understand the chain of how, the events of how. Well, I can tell you. Because I was told that you guys were en route here, so I'm rushing home thinking, my God, they're going to kick down the door, thinking my kid has a gun <laughs> in the house. You know what sure. I mean? There could have been better communication there, absolutely. Okay. Um, I will tell you the reason for calling us, um, and I can even show you the video before I leave if you'd like to see it. Yeah, I would. When it's flashed on the screen, mm -hmm. it looks like a handgun i mean it doesn't look like a toy you don't see the orange tip you don't it looks like a solid black handgun was he running it around or is it just the part of the, so the way the video works it only records them when there's voice activation so if he's talking tracking so the part where we see it, it trigger. the gun at the screen yeah which is why we're going to be meeting with his mom here in a bit wow I did not know that, and yeah. I definitely asked him that. Yeah. So, that's but, that was the video. Yeah, I'd like to see the video. Time. Yeah, of course. I'll, once I get the rest of the information, I'll show you that before we leave. All we can do is educate our kids, and hopefully that. Hopefully make it right. I'm getting ready to go look at the video, so I hope you tell me the truth. You want to step out front? Yeah. So when, uh, okay, what was your first one? Curtis. Curtis, when, uh, Jeffrey Paddock is not at the school, it's just me and him. We have the entire district. The entire district. <laughs> it's just oh, me and I have seven schools. He's got seven schools. I'm just a, kind of like that. But if he, if you know, Paris? Yeah, I'm going to All right, sir. So, what's your full name? Okay, and your. And is your. Do you have a state ID or is it out of state? I've got Colorado. Colorado, okay. Fair enough. Um, and then I okay, very good. So we got that. All right, so here's my business cards. I'll give you two okay. of them. Um, like I said, you and your wife are welcome to reach out to me anytime, man. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, whether it's about this or anything else for that matter. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop my recording. He's going to keep recording. Um, I'll stop mine so I can show you the video. Okay. We're going to talk to the school and stuff. And, okay. so, and, yeah, and the school might be able to give you a copy. I don't know what their rules are on that. Sure. Um, but, yeah. So that's kind of... You, you guys want to talk to his mom, too? Oh, absolutely. we got to wait for the school. They haven't been able to contact her yet, so they're still trying to get in contact with her. I spoke to her about 30 minutes ago. She's okay. at work. Okay. She'll be here to pick him up around 1630. Okay. 
So more than likely what will happen is I'll get in touch with her later today and then set up a time to meet with them probably tomorrow because okay. we're, we're long gone by that point. So, um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I literally was gone for like an hour and a half. <laughs> it is, um, but, yeah. Was anybody here with the boys or was it just them? No, them and the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I ran the base and... They said they were good. I was checking on them, and then my wife called and said she was getting emails. I'm like, what the heck? So, um, but I mean, thankfully, it's not you know anything that could turn out a lot worse. So, yeah. Um, I think he's going. Yeah. I think he's going to learn from it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I think know, so too. I think he, he feels feels he did something wrong. Yeah. I mean, we deal with kids all the time that would just bust us out. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. You know, I mean. But we deal with him over and over and over. But you know, we're willing to help him. He's willing to help himself. Absolutely. If you need anything, man, feel free to reach out to us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I hope you guys have a better day. Appreciate it. Go do your dad yeah. thing, all right? Yeah. Thanks. Now, if you uh, want to talk, if you can call the mom. That's going to be on you. Okay. You know everything that happened. You know, so if you want to, if she calls you back, and I'm, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you do. I'm not uh, getting involved. Okay. He, he, he lied to me. Um, when I, I asked them specifically, you know, kids, they don't tell the whole story, right. so, um, I didn't, I didn't see him waving it around in the video, it was kind of confirmed. Yeah, right. Well, and, and um, she said, she even said that it only records if there's voice, so when he was moving it, he probably wasn't talking, okay. so it didn't record that part. Okay. Um, but I'm guessing that's when the teacher had said something about put it away either, mm -hmm. so. Tracking. Okay, that's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, and you talking to him like you lied. It's up to you. You know, you. Yeah, you, I'm not. It, I'm, yeah, I, I'm not his. I'm I not would, gonna. <laughs> I let his mom deal with that. I you got know. you. Fair enough. I yeah, got I'll you. talk to it. You guys are gonna talk to it too. So. Yep. Yep. So. Yep. Uh, yep. I appreciate it. Sorry. Yeah. Of course. No. no. Hey, you we'd we'd rather we'd we'd rather come out and have it be like this and something else. You know what I mean? So. Thank you guys. You got it, man. You take care, sir. Have a good night.